Good morning. Um, today is the rest of chapter 19. Third Nephi, chapter 19, verses 19 through 29, I believe. Nope, 36. Yeah. Um, so anyways, in these verses, the disciples are praying without ceasing, and then Jesus prays. And um, it just talks a little bit about being purified, um, that they may be one, and having great faith. It's just little snippets here and there. But um, it says, The Lord expresses his gratitude to Heavenly Father that his disciples have been purified because of their faith. He goes on to express his desire for the purification of all those who believe in faith on the words of his disciples. disciples. Purification, the process of becoming clean and holy, is made possible through the atonement. Through fasting and prayer, we can become strong in our humility and firm in our faith, so much so that we are filled with joy even to the purification and sanctification of our hearts, which transformation comes because we yield our hearts to God. We become sanctified by the power of the Holy Ghost, as we seek to take upon ourselves the divine nature of Christ and pray with all the energy of our hearts that we will be filled with charity, the pure love of Christ, we will have we will have grow within us the hope that we shall be like the Lord when he appears, even pure as he is pure. We can be purified by the Holy Ghost as we ex exercise our faith in Jesus Christ. Um, uh, and then it says, as we exercise our faith, we have the blessings of miracles in our lives. It cannot be passive or casual, but requires belief and real intent. When it is so, we receive the things of God. And then it gives some concluding thoughts, which I'm going to share, because my head hurts, and I'm a little foggy, and this isn't going to be great, but if I just read it, you'll get something out of it. Fingers crossed. This and the adjacent chapters of 3rd Nephi contain the priceless instruction of the Savior on gospel fundamentals, how to ponder, pray, and prepare our minds with regards to spiritual matters being worthy of the blessings of the sacrament of the Lord, the doctrine and power of using daily prayer, and how to teach the people and minister to them in love. In all of these things, the Lord is the ultimate model and exemplar. The Lord loves us. He wants us to be happy and partake of the blessings of eternal life. His joy lies in our growth as we become even as He is. He wants to help us understand the doctrines, principles, and covenants that will help us return to the presence of our Heavenly Father. This is why He takes time to teach us and commissions others to do the same. He realizes that it is a process and that we have to do certain things through our own agency in order to partake of the blessings of the gospel teachings. Blessings of His Gospel Teachings if we draw on the powers of heaven through prayer, we will be protected and blessed in all that we do. And I liked that little part, um, that it is a process. He realizes that it is a process and that we have to do certain things through our own agency. <sighs> all right. Third Nephi, chapter 19, verses 19 through 36. I'm going to go take some medicine.